Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Selective Adjust module in Snapseed to selectively change just some parts of the image while leaving the rest intact. But before I do that, I'll quickly do some cropping to improve the composition in this shot. So let me open the crop module and here I'll choose pick an aspect ratio and I think for this image 3x2 might actually work better than 4x3. So let me choose 3 by 2 tap on the screen again, and now I can just move around until I find something that I like. You know, there are no hard rules for cropping, you just have to really trust your heart. And that's more or less what I'm doing here now. And you know what, I think this is already pretty good. Uh, yeah, this is what I'll go for. So let me just go ahead and apply my changes. And now that we're done with that, uh, let me open Selective Adjust. Okay, so the first thing you might notice here in this picture is probably the red cliff at the other end of the river. Well, it's not really red, it's more an orange but a cliff, but still, you know, it's very beautiful, it's kind of unusual, and it's really the main subject of this photo. So there, is there anything we can do to make this cliff stand out even more? And yes, there is. And we can, what we can do with Selective Adjust is we can tap on the plus sign over here, which then allows us to place a selective adjust point somewhere on the image. And now, as I'm tapping my finger on the screen and moving around, you might notice how the colors around the circle are changing. And then there's this little aim in the center of the whole thing. So what I want to do is I want to aim at this color that's representative of the object that I'm interested in. So now I've found an orange shade that is more or less the same as the rest of the cliff. So let me just stick to this point and release my finger. All right, that gives me a circle right here on the cliff. But what I can also do is I can use two fingers and pinch in and out to adjust the area that will be affected by my adjustments. So the bigger I make it, the bigger the area will be adjusted. Now, this isn't exactly perfect because the circle that I, that I have is kind of too low. I want to put it in the center of the cliff, so let me just reposition it. And I also have to find a new spot that looks good. Alright, this is a pretty good. It's the typical color of the cliff. But And let me just release my... But again, it's a bit off to the side, so let me find something else. Alright, how about this? Nope. This point looks good too. And now... Just by pinching, I'm able to select the cliff, just the cliff, but nothing else. So this is really what I was looking for. All right, so now whatever adjustments I make will only be applied to the red area that was selected. So what I can now do is I can increase saturation, which will make the entire cliff a lot more brighter. And now you can see that the orange is really standing out. Now, you don't want to go too high on this. In fact, something like 30 will be more than enough. And I know it's not much, and you might be tempted to increase saturation more, but if you also plan on doing other adjustments later on in the image, you know, just increasing saturation a bit on the cliff will make a huge difference, trust me. So now that we're here, uh, I think I might also increase brightness just a tiny bit, something like 10. And in total, these two things uh, will make a huge difference when we go ahead and finish editing this image into an image. So now, if we tap on the eye icon over here, we can hide the we can hide the point that we have selected. And if we tap on this icon on the top right corner, we can see the difference that we've made. And at this point, the difference is really really tiny, but you can see that now the oranges are a bit, are a bit brighter, which will make a big difference when we move on to editing the overall image into an image. So let me go ahead and uh, save adjustments. And now let's go to tune image. As you probably noticed, there's a lot of beautiful colors in the rest of the image as well. For example, in the background, you see these fall colors of trees, which are really, really beautiful. So of course, I also want to make these stand out. So one way to do this is, of course, to just increase saturation. And now you can see that just increasing saturation by 30 in tune image uh, was enough to make this cliff in the middle really, really stand out. You know, it's these two adjustments combined that really make a big difference. And that's exactly why we, it was important to not overdo the saturation in Selective Adjust. 
Okay, I think it's also a good idea to increase white balance here. Oh yeah, and that looks sweet. You can see that now the fall colors are even more pronounced. In fact, it's kind of even beginning to look unreal, which is kind of a shame. But what we can probably do to make the colors appear more natural again is increase contrast. So let me go ahead and try that. And indeed, increasing the contrast did make a difference in this picture. And I also think I would like to decrease brightness a bit. So let me try that. And I think I like this a lot. My understand is good. And now perhaps I'll even cut down on saturation a bit. So something like 25. And for white balance, I'll go for 25 as well. Now if you look at the colors in this image, it's really it's a huge difference uh, in comparison to what we started with. And once again, we were able to make this cliff uh, really stand out a lot more just by um, increasing the saturation of the cliff alone and selective adjust. And then when we made the global adjustments, uh, the, the whole image just became so much more beautiful thanks to the combined adjustments of tune image and selective adjust. So let's go ahead and apply changes. And let's save our work to camera roll.